All right, so we are recording. This is going to be our social media training part two. Part two. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to turn it over to, I'm going to just turn it over to Kyla and let you go for it, girl. Awesome. Hello, everybody. I hope you all are having a wonderful May 1st. I love, love, love all of you and getting to see you all. If you were on that last power hour, I hope I wasn't the only one bawling my eyes out. I know I wasn't because I saw several people. I'm not going to name names, Rocio, but um, <laughs> I was trying to apply makeup to look decent here and it just wasn't happening. So <laughs> welcome everybody. We just had a jam session and danced a little to get our energy up and get excited for May. I think that May is gonna be absolutely huge. We could not be more blessed by what OptiV is doing for us and our leadership. So we wanna bring some value to you guys today on social media training part two. And um, Emily has some amazing slides to share. We have a few things we want to cover today. We want to show you how to step by step do some things. So if you have access to your phone, great. If you're on your phone watching and want to do it later, this will be recorded so you can watch it and do it. But we, we um, have lots of stuff. And then we want to also bring some value and ask um, Jen Spore and Rocio to share a little bit. Jen may be a little bit late, but they're going to share a little bit on content and what to post. post. So, um, Emily, you want to take over, sister? Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. All right, guys, I know we're all exhausted. You guys are amazing, first of all. Oh, my gosh, the way you've all been running this last month. And now we get to do it again in May. Like, who's ready? Um, we're going to keep our training very, very simple today and just really introduce two concepts, which some of you may already know because I know that we're all brain fried. But the good thing is, is now that we've got another month to just start running, it's more important now than ever to really understand how we can utilize Instagram and Facebook so that we can gain more attraction now that we have this awesome, you know, incentive to offer again. So let's dive right in. I'm going to share screen again and just patience with me because I'm still learning how to utilize PowerPoint, guys. I'm learning this. Okay, hold on. You're okay. awesome, girl. So we're going to jump in. Hold on. I need to move all your pretty faces over here. Okay. Let's see. Play. Okay, so today we're going to cover two really simple things. First is how to sync your contacts on Instagram and then how to share posts on your feed from your feed to your stories. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do first is we're going to jump over to Facebook. Does everybody have Facebook on their phones right now? Access to it. I can't see any of you. Can you jump on? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yes. On. When I share a PowerPoint, I can't see anybody. So Let's start first by doing this post together. I don't know if you guys have already done this, but a lot of you did that roll call post yesterday, which was so awesome and gained so much traction. And so let's use that roll call post and share it to our stories now. And this is how we're gonna do it. If you did not do a roll call post yesterday, that's okay. Just find any post on your Facebook feed. We're on Facebook. Here we go. Whoa. We're on Facebook right now. So um, use your Facebook feed. Find a photo, scroll down, and push the share button. Is everybody doing it? Yeah? Yep. So you're going to hit the share button, and then you're going to go share to story. And basically what we're doing is we're knowing, okay, for all of the people yesterday that did not see your post because they get on social media just for stories, now they're going to get to see your post on stories as well. And so you want to add something exciting like I did over here to the right, the far right picture, like, holy moly, did you see all my incredible friends who posted their wild transformations on this post? We want people to be like, oh, wait, what? why is she so excited? What is this? And then once it's shared, they can literally just click it and it'll take them straight to your post on Facebook. And then they can look at that. So is everybody seeing this and is, is easy to to figure this out. Any questions on this? It's amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, in the future, if you have posts that you're excited about that you're not getting a lot of like traction on or if you're just excited, always go in to Facebook and just reshare your post onto your stories because then you're double dipping. That's what we're trying to teach you is always double dip. 
because then you're going to have the max amount of viewers on both the people that just get on for stories and then the people that just get on the, for posts and everybody gets to see it all. And it's one of those things where once you just get into the habit of it, cause I know this, cause I learned this from Emily. Emily has been doing social media for our other business for like 10 years now. She teaches me, um, and then I just kind of implement it using on my own stories. But yeah, seriously, guys, I'm, I'm pretty not very tech savvy. And after a couple of days of doing this, it, it just kind of turns into just your next natural habit. Yep. And I have to say, I have been watching the people that were on last week start their story process. And it has been so much fun watching each of you guys share and post your stories. I have really loved watching how y'all have played with it and added music and added the fun things. Like it really is fun when you start to play with it. So way to go. Yep. 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 All right. You guys want to give us a thumbs up or a one in the chat if you're ready to move on. Thumbs up. I'm only getting a couple. Everybody feel like they got this concept down. Super easy. No, no Tracy. She's on mute. You want to come off mute? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I came in late. Was that sharing to Facebook or sharing to Instagram? Right now we're just talking about Facebook. So oh, first we're okay. going to show you how to share from your post just to your story on Facebook. Yep. Um, so if we shared this yesterday, now we're, now we're sharing the same thing, but we're doing it in story. Is that what we're doing? Yep. Yes. We're using your story to drive people to your post, that roll call post that you had posted last night or yesterday. Okay. Yep. So Emily, you're just basically saying that it, you just use that um, roll call as an example of how yes. you can just repurpose re it again using share and then post it to your story. You got it. Yep. Okay. And you can do this for any and every yep. post that you want to, that you post on Facebook, that you're excited about, that you want more people to see. Just always okay. repost it to your story. And one of, cool. one, of, one of my friends that I've been uh, um, wanting to jump on program now for a long time saw Emily's post yesterday and finally reached out. Somebody I've been waiting on for like months. Uh, so this, you know, just as like an example of like, this does work. So getting it on your stories as well is really going to, like Emily said, double debt for you. Hey, Emily, um, Andrew, you guys have iPhone? Yes. Okay. So Marty says he doesn't have the share to stories option in his Facebook app on his iPhone. Do you have any suggestions there? Uh, let me look. That wouldn't be a, a phone carrier thing. It would be a Facebook thing. Let me see. So. Okay. First, I would say make sure that your Facebook is your Facebook app is uh, updated Updating. completely because mm -hmm. they make changes all the time. So if you haven't updated your Facebook app in a long time, it's time to update. I'm wondering if if it's a post that's old longer than 24 hours. If that is, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can matter. always share to your story. Yeah. So I I have an iPhone, and when you click on the share. It'll give you all the different options, share to groups, share in messenger, share to your timeline, share story. And share story is normally the first option that comes up. Yes. Yeah. So if I just type that holy moly thing in, it's typing over the picture. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to use your finger and you're going to touch the picture and you're going to slide it down. You can, if you use your finger, you can slide the picture wherever you want it. Yep. You can actually resize the picture as well if you need to. Yes. And, and if you're typing currently on, if you're doing the text and it's just doing it over your picture, there should be an option at the top that says done when you're, when you're done typing your text. And then when you're done, then you can touch the text and move it up on top of or above or below the picture of your, okay. of your story. Does that make sense, Janet? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Kyla, I have a question. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead, Raylan. Um, I have a question. How do you change the color of the background? Um, I don't know that you do. So with a uh, post like this, it's going to take the top color. See that how the top color of my roll call post is the color of my background. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You cannot change that. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Did you have something, Brian? I saw you come off mute. Yeah. So when, uh, how does the um, a story come priority into your, I mean, my, you know, when I see it, when I see someone's. It, so last week, last week we talked a little bit about that and how okay. studies are showing that more people on social media, whether it be Facebook or Instagram, are actually just logging yeah. on 
and scrolling through people's stories. They're not actually scrolling Facebook feeds like they used to. No, stories are really that. becoming the new thing. Yeah. Go ahead, Brian. No, yeah, I get that. I understand it's, it's tactic. But yeah. in terms of like when, when I, sometimes I see people, I go, huh, I never seen them before. And then I don't use it. And then new people come, start coming in my story. It's based on my interest. And then they're going to just be in my feed all the time on my story. Um, are you muted, Aisha? Is that you playing music? <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, yeah, forget my question. I don't want to. I don't want to digress us. That's a. I, I'll. So forget about what I asked. Okay. So what we're gonna do is at the end we want to leave open like twenty minutes just for a bunch of questions. So will you yeah. bring that back up, Brian? When we get yeah, over. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's move on. And then if you have any issues with this, you can always go back and watch the recording um, to see how this goes again. So the next thing that we're gonna want to do here is now we're gonna jump over to Instagram. So does everybody have Instagram now after our training yesterday? Everybody feel good about Instagram? Last week. Put a one in the chat. Last week, oh my gosh. Instagram. That's how long, that's how long it's been. Okay. We are fried, y'all. Oh so here's what we wanna do with Instagram. We want to, this is weird, I'm seeing myself two times. Um, we want to show you how to build your Instagram following based on the people that you already know. It's very, very simple. So don't feel like you got to get on Instagram and search all your friends and how do I build an Instagram following? You can do that simply by using the settings. So first, and I want everybody to do this right now too. So jump on Instagram and go to your main profile picture. The way that you go to your main profile is by clicking your face down in the bottom right corner. So you can go to your profile. Okay. Then you're gonna click the three lines top right hand corner. That's your settings, okay? Then you're gonna see where it says discover people. You're gonna click on discover people. And then you should have a pop-up like this, the, this third slide, or this third picture that says find people to follow. So you're gonna wanna get, get started, okay? And then it's going to say Instagram would like to access your contacts. So what's happening is that Instagram is going to access all the contacts in your phone, so all the phone numbers you have. And if any of those people and those phone numbers have an Instagram account, Instagram is going to find it and it's going to pull it up so that you can follow those people that are already in the contacts on your phone. Okay. Also, if everybody has their Instagram linked to their Facebook, like we taught you guys how to do last week, then Instagram is also going to sync with your Facebook, find Facebook friends that also have an Instagram and they're going to pop up and it's going to show you who they are so that you can follow them. Everybody following? I'm going to move slide, but the, let me know if you need me to go back. So on the next slide, after you click that OK button, then it'll look like this, where it says discover people. And you'll see all kinds of people in here, you guys. You'll see people that are. Hey, Gina, do you mind muting? Sorry. It's OK. <laughs> you'll see. Uh, I love you guys. OK, discover. Um, I have a different thing. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the right one. Am I supposed to press connect? Where it says contact, connect contacts? Yes. Yep, yep. You can push connect or push okay. Yeah, whatever it, whatever it shows you there on your particular phone. Emily? Yes. When I pulled up the um, discover people, I did not get that box that came up that says find people to, that you know or to know, to follow. That okay. didn't come up. Well, then well, it it well, may well, be well. that you've already done that step pre previously. Yeah. Okay. What pulled up for you, Denise? Pardon me? What pulled up for you? What does your phone look like right now? Discover people. Okay. It's got the list of people. So then you're, you're already synced. And so am I already synced to the contacts on Facebook as well? Instagram would like to access my contacts. I don't think I've gotten that either. Was there a step after to follow that I missed? No, there, so there is another setting, another way that we can show you if you guys want to go into, but it has a box check that basically says you're connecting everything. It's a different way through settings, but this is the easiest way. That's why I'm showing you guys this way. Denise, if you did not get that box that popped up, that means you you're are already, already synced. You've already done it before. You, you probably yeah. Maybe when you created your Instagram, it asked you and you didn't realize, but yeah, you're already synced. How smart am I, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
So going, going to this now, I want to explain to you the way Instagram works here. So like, if you look at my discover people, you'll see that it says, okay, the first one, Janae Byrne, for instance, um, it says suggested for you. The reason that says suggested for you is because she's a contact in my phone. So I know, oh, well, it's Janae. She's a contact in my phone. Now, when you go down and it says like, where it says Corey Thompson, 1776. It says followed by Renee Thompson. So Renee Thompson is a contact in my phone. Corey is not. Corey happens to be her husband, but Instagram is saying, wait, you're friends with Renee. Maybe you also want to be friends with Corey. So it's suggesting people that are not contacts, but maybe that they think I'll have a mutual interest in based on who I am contacts with. Does that make sense? So you guys can all decide if you wanna follow those people or not. Now, here's where Instagram is different than Facebook. If you're adding a friend on Facebook and they accept, you're automatically following each other. On Instagram, if you're choosing to follow, like if I go through and follow any of these people, that does not mean that they're following me. They have to choose to follow me and go to my profile. So that's why you just, if, if you want to build a big Instagram following, just follow as many people as you can because Instagram will tell them that you're following them and chances are they'll follow you back because they'll be interested in, in you as well. Like, oh, this person's following me. Yay, I'm going to follow them back. Okay. So don't be discouraged if somebody doesn't automatically follow you back. They have to choose to follow you. So give them, give them time. Okay. And it's kind of like a, I, you scratch my back, I scratch yours type of reciprocation in Instagram. It, the, the whole follow system, it's really not your friends, but you follow them and they'll follow you and vice versa. So if people do start following you, it's smart to follow them back. Um, right. right. Am, I, am I correct in that, Emily? Yep. 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 Absolutely. So yeah, chances are, especially if they're your friends or your contacts, they will follow you back. Now, if you asked... Is there a way to just accept everyone or do we need to do it one at a time? So if your Instagram is public, you do not need to accept people following you. They should be able to do it without you having to accept it. So that's one thing we might want to cover is make sure your Instagram is public. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is yeah. There limit, is there a limit on people? No. Like Facebook? No. So Instagram's unlimited. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Awesome. Millions. My friend Brittany May has 125,000 followers. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And you can follow as many. Now, I, and I want to say too, if you look at this uh, slide and you look down on where it says V Lejeur, so that's Val Lejeur. I happen to know her, but see how it says followed by Michelle Praskin's photography? That I know is a Facebook because I follow Michelle Praskin's photography on Facebook. So now they've looked at my Facebook because they're joined. And they've said, wait, if you follow Michelle on Facebook and Michelle follows Val, maybe you want to follow Val. Okay, kind of scary how it's all intertwined. It's like that, what's that, seven layers of Captain Bacon? Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, so Suzanne, yes, you do want to start going down the list and clicking follow on all of these people. That's how you build your following. Well, only the people well, that you actually do want to follow. Yes, that's true. Yeah. True, true. And watch out, watch out for the scammers. <laughs> oh. I haven't got like eight or 10 already. Yep. Yeah. Just, just coming in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So How do you know that. Sorry, did somebody say something? Yeah. How, How do you, you know, know that, that there's scammers? <laughs> you, you, when you see their picture, you'll understand it. <laughs> you'll yeah. see. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. just start sending you crazy stuff. So all the, the people that, the, that they suggest for you isn't necessarily always going to be people that you want to connect with. Um, but for the most part, when you do this step, Emily's having you do it is going to be people either that you're associated with on Facebook or you're, they're a contact in your phone. Mm -hmm. And once you run out of people and you hit follow, 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 and you run out of people, all you have to do is refresh the page and there will be unlimited people that Instagram is trying to recommend to you. So you're not ever going to run out of people to follow. I'll tell you that. Yeah. But here's another thing. Also, I wouldn't recommend taking today to follow 2000 people. I would start slow. I would probably do 20 to 30 each day because what's going to happen is if you do start following 2000 people in one day, Instagram is going to think that you're a spam account and they're going to put your account on hold. Yeah. Yeah. So keep it slow and steady, you know, add 
20 people a day or 10 people a day or whatever, and then just keep checking it each day and, and making new contacts like we do in Facebook. It could be part of your structure. Like you go into add friends on Facebook and then you jump into Instagram and add people too. Um, I have a question. Um, so would you guys recommend um, that we follow like other coaches? Yes. Yeah. Would you recommend that? Yeah. So mm -hmm. whereas Facebook, when you're friends with them, you see all their stuff in your feed and you know, they just recommend that you don't add them as friends on Instagram. It's a little bit different. I love following other coaches for a couple reasons. One, because I love seeing their posts and getting inspired by their posts and it helps me figure out content that I want to post. Yes. And two, I always reshare other coaches posts because it helps build their Instagram following and it helps build mine. So Instagram wants you to be constantly sharing and liking other people's posts. So for instance, Tanya Strino, I love that girl. She's my girl. Mm -hmm. I always go to her page and she always has amazing content. And I literally will click on her post and I will reshare it to my stories constantly because it's such good content, but she's not going to care if I reshare it because if I reshare it, Instagram goes, oh, whatever Tanya Storino said has value. We're going to show more of Tanya's stuff into everyone else's post. So it helps her post by me resharing it. Yes. So it's a uh, win and, and you can also, if you do want to your, your feed, like as if you're scrolling Instagram or scrolling Facebook, Instagram specifically, if there's just some stuff you don't want to see, there's this magical thing called mute. And it's, it's not unfollowing that person, but it's muting their post and their story. So that's not all you see constantly. Um, that's kind of a little bit deeper 2.0 type stuff, but you will find that there is an option to mute people. If, if, you know, they just start barraging with negative stuff and you don't want to see it, you can mute it. Um, Julie Rickard asked, is there a way to follow another people, another state from where you live? Yes, Julie, it automatically is going to give you people in the discover people that Emily's going through right now. It should give you people that are not just specifically in your state. It should be anywhere, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I've got a question really quick. Um, sure. Going back to what you were talking about, Emily, about like, let's say you're sharing somebody else's post. So I'm trying to wrap my head around because are you adding words like love this girl or, or just so that people don't reach out to Tanya instead of you? Like how, cause you know how Facebook says we don't share because of that reason. Like what's the difference? I'm trying to wrap my head around why it's okay to do that. Usually with Instagram, people are not clicking on the post. So like, for instance, I don't steal like all of Tanya's stuff, but if she posts an amazing quote, then I'll reshare her quote on my feed. People are not going to click on that quote to go to Tanya's page. If they do and they decide to go follow her, great. She's awesome to follow. But all of my following is going to see mine. So when, when you go to a stories, if they want to click on that, they can. But most people don't click on it because they don't even realize that somebody else reposted it. It doesn't say on it, Tanya Storino posted this on my feed, on my stories. Does that make sense? Okay. Can I ask, um, are you going to cover to repost? What was that? Is it, are you going to cover how to repost from someone else's feed? Yes. Yeah. That's next. That's super okay, perfect. I, I just learned that like, you taught me that what, three days ago? It's really good. Yeah, I've been trying to figure it out for a while and I just, you know, then I get frustrated and stop. <laughs> now, if somebody shares a story and I really like their story, the only way to repost their story would be to do a screenshot. You can't reshare stories. Okay. But I do always give credit. Now, this may be something that you guys want to talk to your support team about or whatever. I am very non-competitive. So I feel like if I reshare a coach's picture and somebody goes to that coach, I'm good with that. Because I've just, I know there's enough business to go around. But if that's something that you're concerned about and you don't want to like lead people to other coaches, then maybe just don't reshare their posts. And that's okay. Um, but let me take you to the next slide. This is Instagram sharing right here. So for instance, Andrew posted this post in his feed this morning. And so this showed up in my feed, right? This is Andrew's picture and I like it. So I want to reshare it. So down here, I'm just going to click this little um, paper airplane. You see the paper airplane down here? 
And that is how I'm going to reshare it on my stories. And then it'll say add post to story and I'll add post. And do you see how it shows up you guys like this? It doesn't say Andrew's name anywhere except for down at the bottom, which is why most people won't click on the actual picture because they think that it's a picture that I posted or people just don't spend enough time on stories like looking to see where you got the content. Um, and so they'll just see a picture and then I'll put my wording up here. Now, in order to have my wording up here, I need to touch this picture and scroll it down a little bit. So that way I have room for my wording up here. But you can put wording over it. You can do whatever you want with that. Now, again, there is value because I believe in supporting other people um, in doing this because now Instagram says, mm -hmm. okay, Andrew's post has value. And so it helps Andrew to shoot his post out to his followers. Okay, so it shoots his post out to his followers. Would it potentially, here's a question, would it potentially uh, shoot it out to your followers as well? Your post? Yeah. Nope. Okay, so nope. just mine. Just your followers. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> a higher percentage of my followers. Right. Makes sense. Right, because when it sees value, then it says, we want to show more of Andrew's followers his posts. Okay, some of you seem confused. Do I have any, any questions? We're good? Okay. We're good. And then you can do one of two things. Do you see this last picture here? Do you see how you know that I'm linked to Facebook because you see my Instagram picture next to a blue F? That's how you know you're connected to both. So when I push share, it's gonna share to both my Instagram and my Facebook stories. That's how you know you're connected, okay? If you don't wanna push that, you can also push send to, you see this white button send to, and if you push send to, it'll show you the same options. It'll say like share to story or send to a friend. And from there, you can just click share to story. But it's so much easier to just click your face down here. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so that is how you share a post to stories. Now, I happen to share Andrew's um, post but what I would encourage you all to do is start with sharing your own posts, okay? That's really what I wanna get at here is that we wanna double dip. We wanna double dip between posts and we wanna double dip be between stories. And the way that we do that is by every time you post something, you reshare to your stories, okay? And then just to cover what we talked about last week too, Remember that you can sync Instagram and Facebook together and it's great and you want to sync them, but you don't want to sync your posting. If you're going to actually post on your feed, post on Instagram, copy paste your wording and then go over to Facebook and post on Facebook and paste your wording in there. Everybody got that? Yes, that's important because Facebook does not like a post that you share from Instagram and it won't put it in people's feeds as much. They, so, so, so just to clarify, they give you that option for you to share it to your Facebook feed, but you're saying don't do that. Just go over to your Facebook app and then do a copy and paste. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yes. Everybody understand? Thumbs up. I love seeing all your beautiful faces this morning. I just love our community. So don't share from Instagram to Facebook, but you on can your share posts. From on your Instagram post or your yes, Facebook, on, I'm confused. Say it again. So if you're posting something on your wall, on your Instagram profile or on your Facebook profile, all posts on your profile should be done in each separate social media platform. If it's a story, the stories are the things at the oh, top of story. your, those okay. can be shared. Those you want to okay. be connected, but an actual post, individually copy and paste to Facebook and Instagram. Got it. Got it. Sweet. So Janet, quick question. Should, so I have followers, which I didn't know. Should I follow all of my followers or I think so. I mean, I'm not following them if I don't actually click follow. follow them, right. Correct. Okay. Yes. Like I said, it's kind of like that reciprocation. I scratch your back, you scratch mine type of thing. That's the feeling for Instagram. Um, rather than friends, it's you follow people. And if you don't want to see their stuff, we can go into how to mute later, <laughs> but it's a, it's a great function. And um, also keep in mind that you're not going to use Instagram to scroll. I would never no. scroll your Instagram. You don't need to. What you're going to use Instagram for is to post content, hide hashtags, draw people to your um, content. 
okay? They're gonna reach out to you. They're gonna send you a private message once they see all your stories and the constant content, and then you can connect with them. But I wouldn't look to connect with people on Instagram. I would look to get as many followers as you can and give as much content as you can. Facebook is where connection is really magical. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. And Aisha asked about how important are hashtags. Um, that's a little bit deeper of a stuff that we were going to cover today, but I don't know that we have enough time. Um, hashtags are an important part of Instagram and getting followers. So I think we're going to go into that on another training. Um, you can post up to 30 hashtags per post, not story, but post. So hashtags are good. Use, use, use hashtags. Um, all right, so now I think we want to jump over to content. Does anybody struggle with what to post and when? Anybody besides me just need ideas, right? Okay, we got some pros that are going to bring some, some awesomeness today. Jen Spore, are you? Yes, I see your face. You are home. Yay! I am home. I missed kind of the beginning, but I That's am. Okay. Um, so I didn't get a chance to kind of pull a bunch of stuff up, but... Um, I was going to just kind of see if I can, oh gosh, I have all these black boxes in the way. Let's see if I can pull up my Facebook really quick. Um, I will say that the more personal, we had this conversation the other day, the more, um, personal things are, uh, the more obviously response. And I think Facebook really likes when you share lots of personal <clears throat> content. Um, so really quick, just as a um, you know suggestion, this part of your Facebook, you definitely want to be something, um, it could be a picture of your family or it could be something about coaching or whatever. And then changing your profile picture often um, is a good idea. You know, a lot of Dawn yesterday talked about having it be a before and after. It doesn't always have to be a before and after. Um, it's, it's completely up to you, but, um, let me just see if I can find my, okay. So like, yeah, we all got on the bandwagon yesterday with the roll call, which was pretty awesome. So hopefully lots of our followers, um, on Facebook saw, um, all of these amazing, um, before and after pictures. I changed my profile picture yesterday. Um, so yesterday, you know, was just seven hours left. You know, anything you can do to get your face in Facebook is really powerful. Okay, instead of just always having a picture of your food you're eating, get your face in it. <laughs> because Facebook loves faces and people love faces. So the more you can get your face in your Facebook, the better. Okay, so any opportunity, that I have to uh, to do that, I do. Sorry, my 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 little mouse does not like to work well, so I'm trying to get it to go up because I was trying to show you guys. Let me see if I can move this over. There we go. I was trying to show you guys. Uh, I did a Facebook Live with Jason yesterday. Facebook Lives are huge. Um, it gets your algorithms up in Facebook. Another thing is up here putting your description of what your Facebook is about. This isn't all that exciting, but hopefully it got enough people's attention for them to want to watch it, right? I'm like, listen up, not <clears throat> okay, but we felt compelled to hop on and share our hearts. I was actually gonna change this afterwards, but I, I didn't have time yesterday to do it. Um, but you know, anytime you can do a Facebook Live, it, it ups your algorithms, people are gonna start seeing more of your stuff. Um, this, you know, just doing a lot of push with the, the last days here. This was just something about finances and how our program is super, uh, affordable. I like to do a Facebook live each week. Um, if I'm around for, you know, on our habits of health call. So I literally have a tripod and they're super cheap on Amazon that you can buy and I set up my tripod right here and I put my phone in my tripod and then I put the Habits of Health call on my laptop and that's how I get like a steady view of the Habits of Health call. So lots of times Dr. A is doing stuff that you can, you know, you can put stream it right into a Facebook Live on your Facebook page. 
So I, I try to do that every week. Can I um, hop in real quick, Jennifer? Yeah, go I for it. I think, I think, I think there is a Facebook page that now will stream Habits of Health Calls. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they said they were going to start doing that at some point. So if we find out where that is, then it's even smarter. I love that idea, Jen, but I think it's even smarter to do a watch party because if you don't know what watch parties are, it's this incredible little thing that sends a notification to every single person on your friend list saying, hey, Jen's doing a watch party. And when they click on that notification, it takes them into the watch party and they have to do three different clicks to get out of it. And it's really a powerful way to draw people in. Absolutely. I've done watch parties too. And I don't know a whole lot about watch parties. The only thing I've seen is it seems like, um, Kyla, tell me this, when somebody comes into a watch party, can you see if they left? You, you can. Um, so when you start a watch party, it automatically takes your Facebook and you're watching it. And so there's two, there's two um, options. You can stay in your watch party and see any um, comments and who are in there. If you click on the people that pop up, you can see who's in there. And if, as they leave, you can see that. Um, okay. It doesn't tell you that they left, but their picture goes away. Um, right. Or you can toggle over to the actual live um, comments and, and, and do in there. So there's two options there, but yes, you can see kind of who's in there and who's sticking around to watch. Got it. Okay. And I, I like that too, because you can see who's actually sticking around. So that's awesome. So yeah, watch parties, Facebook lives, all those things are going to be great. So again, just trying to get my face, my face in a lot of, um, a lot of these pictures, uh, you know, this is, this will be another training, but a lot of what I do is now I use a couple of different things. Some of you might be going, where does she get these different fonts and these different, different things from? So I use word swag. And, um, and that's where I get a lot of these types of fonts. Um, and then uh, this, so sometimes this is probably another training, but I sometimes will go into the stories on Facebook and I'll pull little, little fun things in, and then I'll take a screenshot on my phone and then I'll pull it over to Facebook. So I'm kind of using different modalities just, and you guys, a lot of this, because I am not good with technology. A lot of this is just playing. It's completely getting in there and just pushing buttons and finding what you can do and starting to play with it because then you just start getting more knowledgeable about what you can do. So this is just me like having fun and playing with it. Um, so again, just more pictures of me. I did a Facebook live a couple days ago. Um, and again, you see this, I was so wrong. Dang, many years of suffering. Wish I knew then what I know now. People who read that are going to go, what was she so wrong about? Like, I what, 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 what is this? And then they're going to listen. So the, the catchier phrase you can have up here is what you want to draw people in to, um, to your, your live, your post lots of times. Um, Emily does this as well. We talked about this. She might say real talk, you know, like get ready. Like I'm going to drop a bomb on you right now. So you're going to want to read this post or sometimes I'll say something like get ready. You know, uh, this is another vulnerable and long post, right? So I'm letting them know up front in the description, like, like you're going to want to read this because I'm about ready to like full on share my heart with you and you're not going to want to miss this. Okay. So those kinds of beginnings of your posts are really powerful and like using the word vulnerable, you use the word vulnerable. People are like, she's going to get vulnerable right now. I want to read what she's going to say. Right. So, um, so anyway, just keeping it real, you guys, right now we're in quarantine talking a lot about quarantine, talking a lot about your own feelings, um, but trying the best we can to be real, but positive. And I know that might sound like, well, how do you do that? Like I shared a picture. I'd have to scroll way back. Some of you probably saw it. I shared a picture a while ago of um, me with my head in a pillow and I was having a bad day. I actually um, took that idea from uh, Ray Lloyd, for any of you who Lloyd. I, that's another thing. I know I'm rambling right now. I go to a lot of different coaches who are successful. I go to their pages and see what they're posting. 
Carol Hitz, uh, Sarah Graves, Tanya Storino, uh, April Pickeron, right? I go to a lot of these different coaches, Dawn Chow, and I see what, what are they posting? Allison Petty. I see what are they posting? And then sometimes I steal ideas. So that head of that picture of me with my head in the pillow, if you go back on my, it was like probably three or four weeks ago. It was the beginning of quarantine. We're all having good days and bad days. That was one of my bad days. And I basically said, it's okay to have a bad day, right? We're not perfect. It's about living out loud and being real, but also being strong and showing that you come through those bad days and that our healthy minds are what's getting us through those, those days. So this is just living out loud. Me and my girls going on a hike, pictures of my dogs, you guys. Pictures of your pets are huge. But again, I'm doing lots of, at least once a week, I'm trying to get a before and after in of me and sharing my story. This was just a share from seven years ago of my girls having a lemonade stand, right? A share of my own personal healthy meal. Not just a picture of somebody's, but this is what I, I didn't make it, Jason made it. I can't take credit for that blackened salmon. It was pretty amazing. Um, and, you know, quotes, you know, just uh, inspirational quotes, the girls gardening. I was trying to get down to, okay, pie making, right? These are personal. These are, I'm sharing my kids, my life, what's going on during quarantine. They're making pies and they're taking them to people. This was a huge one. I said, these two just melt my heart. Show me a pic of the animals in your life that melt your hearts too, M melt yours, right? There were... 109 comments of people sharing their pets. Wow. Right? Because people love to share their pets. They do. Getting a lot. And we love to see them too. <laughs> yes. And I'll just leave you with this, you guys. The more, um, the more that you can have people comment on your posts, the more people that Facebook is connecting you with. So when I have people comment and often I'll bring in these kinds of posts because I want the 109 comments because then see what's happening is all these people in, in black and white here, basically Facebook is saying, basically what that's telling Facebook is I'm good friends with all these people and um, these people want to see Jennifer Spore's um, posts. <laughs> And when I post my before and after, guess what's popping up on their newsfeed? My before and after. Because them commenting on my post in this dog picture is now telling Facebook, oh, they want to see each other's stuff. So now when I post my before and after, it's going to pop up on their newsfeed. So hopefully that makes sense. That's why it's important to have a lot of really good content, living your own life out loud, Pictures of your own kids, pictures of your pets, pictures of you gardening, pictures of your, you know, all of that stuff. Um, and that's what's going to make it so that a lot of people start seeing your health posts as well. So intermingling your health posts, your inspirational posts, but just keeping it real. All right. I don't know. I don't know what else I got, but hopefully that um, bless somebody. That was amazing, Jen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Jen, can I ask a question? We sure. you did the lives and then you put that, um, preference thing in the Facebook, like just laying it out or something like you did. Do you do that first and then start the live or how did you do that? So, so usually, yeah, um, there's a way that, and I'm trying to think of exactly, I think when you push live, it says description. Okay. There's like this description you click in there and then you can write what you want. Okay. Now, sometimes I, like I some like yesterday when Jason and I were going to do that, we sat there for five minutes and went, what should we write in the description? And we couldn't think of something creative. And I said, you know what, I'll come back to it. And I'll, I'll after we do our live and after I figure out what we're even going to say, because we didn't even know really what we were going to say, then I'll go change it. I just never got back to changing it because you can go to edit and then you can go in and change your description if you want it. Is that okay. after you post the, is that after you post the live? Okay. Yeah, you can always you can edit it later. And, you could go in and edit it and change it later if you wanted to. But lots of times I put the description in ahead of time because I'm trying to get somebody's attention 
as to why they want to listen to me right now. Okay. Yeah. You want that to be five. I, I want to, gr I want to grab their attention and go, Oh gosh, I want to hear what she has to say about this. So that's Great. why having that punchy like description, um, can be really important. Thanks so much. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Any other, Thank you so much, any Jen. other questions on content or well i actually have rocio that she has yes. some really um awesome stuff to share and how she has i gets ideas on content i want her to share that before we really go too much into questions please perfect so i am um i naturally love social media and so i um I don't want that to trick anybody because there is a few things that I learned that are, that were really helpful to give me more information to share and like topics and whatnot. So raise your hand if you have, if you just don't even know what to post, like you're like, what, what, I, how am I, what am I even supposed to post? I get, well, we have to post our health stories and whatever, whatever. But one of the cool things is that if you go to national day, um, nationaldaycalendar.com and you just figure out what national holiday it is on the 25th it was pool opening day it was telephone day it was zucchini bread day it was sense of smell day funky stuff right like who would have even thought those things i don't make things <laughs> these things up and i'll tell my husband something like oh my gosh do you know that this is whatever day and he's like how is that a national holiday? I don't know, but it gives me something to talk about. So I just want to give you permission to have fun. Have fun with this. Like you can learn your own voice. And that's the thing is that don't copy us just because we have ideas. I, I'm not gonna copy you just because you have an idea. What, how do you wanna brand yourself? I love that I already knew how to do this, but Lori even asked me and I was like, wow, way to like throw that back on me. She asked, like, what words describe you? Who describes you? I'm a wife, right? I am a believer. I don't have pets. That can still put me into a criteria because I can't post about my dog, but show me all the bunnies you've got. And so if you if you say, the dip, give, pick seven things that reflect you. If you love to read, I love my garden. I love taking walks with my husband. That has nothing to do with health. So what reflects you and who you are? That's what you want to post about. And so we're supposed to do, I don't know we're supposed to, it's, it's suggested that we do the 10, 5, and 3. So we, we find 10 friends and then we post five messages, right? Or we like private five messages and then we post three times. And those three times make it fun. It doesn't have to be about anything deep, dark, heavy, whatever. Sometimes it is. And so when you feel a stir in you where you're like, man, I really feel like I should post something about this. I'm, I'm real and raw. I post about how I miss my mom because she passed away. I'll post about her birthday. Um, like an emotional day. Like I was fine two seconds ago, but that brings me emotion. And you know what? Every time lately in this quarantine that I've shared the loss of my mom and just um, not, I'm not even like diving deep. I'm just talking about grief and giving people permission to grieve. I'm like, hey, you know what? Grieving is hard, but grieving in quarantine, I'm so sorry that you're going through this. And it's giving permit. I've had private messages in. I had no prompting of anything other to share, other than to share the fact that that grief is hard because my mom's birthday was in April, and I wore my mom's my mom's purple shirt. I wore her earrings, you know. I wore those things. And I just shared. It had anything to do with with health? No, but people can see and process that I'm and in a healthy way. I'm processing those heavy days, and I'm giving them permission to cry and giving them permission to share those things yeah and then you add in you bring in like hey i'm wearing my jeans have you worn your jeans when's the last time you wore your jeans because you know those stretchy pants they lie you know those just it's a matter of finding your voice in you so if you pick seven things and you like to read i i think i i think in my mind i pretend i like to read i have stacks of books but maybe i should post a stack of the books i haven't read and be like hey tell me which one i should read let's take a poll you know a b c and d and do that as a story or do that as a poll. I don't know, but you just don't be afraid to just be you. I love to follow Jen Jones because she and I, I feel like she's just my spirit animal. She just, the energy and the screaming, you know, <laughs> it could be too much for people, but I personally love it. Do I, 
steal ideas or whatever. No, but sometimes she'll inspire me. And <clears throat> and I had a private message sent to me the other day. Um, and it was a matter of like, hey, I get a lot of responses when I post this kind of post. When I post about, um, Lisa, this is something I shout out to you. You sent me a message and you said, I never get, I get all of these great responses when sun sets and the picture of me as a child and, and then nobody responds about my health. And then I told her, great. Well, respond to the picture about your childhood, those people, and say, hey, I never knew I would grow up, that little girl would grow up to be a health coach. And then when I was writing that to her, it inspired me like, oh, man, I've come a long way. I came from a broken little girl to becoming a teacher, but then my mom passed away and there went that. But then now I teach as a coach. So I shared that and that was a breakthrough for myself. I didn't know I needed that breakthrough. Lori cried with me, my, one of my new coaches cried with me because I didn't realize I needed that personal breakthrough. And so sometimes these posts aren't for people, it's for us to move forward. But because she asked that question about childhood, that like stirred in me, oh man, that would be a fun post. Like, hey, this little girl, this little boy, you know, this, per, this per, get a, get an old school elementary school picture and be like, can you believe she grew up to be, if you knew me, maybe you should, here's an idea to say, Hey, if you knew me back then, why don't you tell me like what you remember most? Or was I super annoying? Cause I remember doing this, you know, anyway, just can I jump I, in really quick. Yeah. I just wanted to say something to tie in that into that Rocio after that post that you did my post, the next post I did was, what did you want to be when you grew up? And I said, I wanted to be a journalist. And I posted a picture of the lady that I wanted to be And wow, I mean, it lit up. People were like, I want this and that and the other. And it sparked a whole lot of conversation. So that was really cool that we got that going back and forth. Totally. You just inspire people. And so it's funny when people are like, hey, I love your, I stole your post or whatever. And I'm just like, you stole mine? Like, thanks. I like your post. What the heck? You know? And so you just bounce back. It's just a matter of serving, loving each other. And so that's what I love about this community. And um, one of the things that I did that Lori didn't tell me to do, but I felt a prompting in my heart. And she was like, are you sure you understood what I said about like 30 days of health? And it stirred me when I first started to go live for 30 days. And I did. And I'm not telling you to do that unless you feel called to do that. Because I didn't think I had 30 days to talk about. And then I would just talk and people watch and listen. And it's funny because when I met a lot of you, you're like, oh my gosh, you went 30 days live. I'm like, how did you know? <laughs> and I just found my voice in that too. The more I just share about stuff and about, um, about my, I was sharing like every day almost about like the energy. So I would focus on just talking about energy and then I would focus about my my sleep and how it's better. And then I would, so there's so many, and we have our life book, you guys our elements, there's plenty of days right there. If you went an element a day and just gave a brief of what those different things are. This is the first of May. So I need to challenge myself. I, last month, I challenged myself of like, um, uh, the word I use is uh, mindset. So my posts for the month, I just gave myself permission, like mindset, mindset. And then I was like, oh, of course it's mindset because it's the month my mom passed away. Well, there's gonna be a heavy day, but it doesn't have to be, you know, it's just, Think about this month. Whose birthday is it? Who can you give a shout out to? Get a blank calendar. Start filling it in. Cinco de Mayo. Hey, I might want myself some nachos. I'm, you know, like, and then there's the recipes for healthy nachos. Those bell pepper ones are my favorite. So post something about that. But if we give ourselves permission to have fun with it, go on the national day calendar. It's so silly. The things that are on there, like, I don't know, there's probably like a national nose day. I have no, like, it's just that crazy, but have fun with it. So, um, the last thing that I would say is just <clears throat> feel, feel the prompting of your heart. There is a reason why something stirs in you, in your heart, in your mind. Well, there's a reason why, like a memory will pop up when you see somebody from high school post on a, on a page. Um, just take a moment to, to see, to, to hear. Like I always, I pray in the morning and just asking like, God, who needs to see me? Who needs to hear me? But who do I need to see? Who do I need to hear? And now I need to add, who do I need to, like, what do I need to read? 
and what who needs to read what I have. So give yourself permission to have fun. And one of the things that I really want you to do is write down on Instagram, I want you to find Jasmine Starr. She's a brand and social media strategist. Um, she has a, a group in which um, is amazing. But right now it's closed, so when it opens, you be sure I'll, t I'll I'll be sure to tell you. But one of the ways that I found um, my voice was she provides photos and then she provides um, fill in the blanks, and so it is part of a membership. But I don't even use those anymore because I found my voice. And so what I want to do is just give you permission to have fun. Go to her, her social media page, Jasmine, J-A-S-M-I-N-E, star, S-T-A-R. Look her up, listen to her, read her posts. You'll see how she's just about sharing her life. She just adopted a little girl. I know her life story for the last year and a half because I followed her. She's a twin. Anyway, have fun. I'm going to leave it at that. If you have any questions, I know that we want to honor your time. We will have a second, a third part of this, and we will talk about hashtags, but let us know what you want to talk about. You know, let us know what we can do to serve you, because I know it's fun for us to do this, and um, and it's fun to gather together. And this is the first of the month. Like, this is our time that we have the opportunity to plan for, and I need to give myself that time too. I need a plan for the next month. The fact I was crying this morning, I think it's because I was like, I have another chance to give $90 to other people. Like I have another chance to have authentic conversations and give back. Thank you. Because I was sad last night. I was like, man, I didn't reach 35 people. And then I thought, you know what, but I worked hard and planted seeds. And then I wake up and it's like, oh, now you get to see your flowers bloom. So this is our time, right, Ritza? This is our time to just go and look back and we all have that chance. So anyway, that's all for me. And I want to jump in real fast before we go to you, Janet, and just go off of that. Rocio, remember, guys, authenticity creates connection authenticity creates connection. And if you're getting discouraged because your health posts only have two likes, but your all your other posts that are fun have 50 likes and tons of comments, you're doing something right. Just because your health posts don't have a million comments does not mean you're doing it wrong. You're doing it right when everything else has a million comments. That means people are watching and they're seeing your posts and you're doing it right. So don't let discouragement creep in. They're seeing your health posts too. They're just too afraid to like them. They're engaged because they're engaged with the rest of your posts. Okay? Amen. To that. We wrap up, Kyla? Janet? Just a quick question. Um, I'm looking for your uh, feedback on how do we posture and position the fact that we went to, you know, last hours, this is the last day of the discount, and now we're doing it for a whole nother month. So how do we do that and be integrous? And I, I'm, I'm open to feedback on what your thoughts are. Live video with energy. Sorry, I just jumped in because I've already been thinking about this. A yep. live where the, the title says, oh my gosh, no way, guess what? And then we bring our energy in the live and we're like, you guys, this, our company is so amazing. We can't even imagine what they're doing, but they really are hearing the hearts of the people that are chasing health right now. And there's so many people that missed out on this last month that we are extending. Now is your time. Love our company. We're so excited. You got to wow. see that, that energy. Yeah. Okay. 100%. I am like so late to the party because I was at physical therapy during the power hour. So somebody fill me in. So we have the $90 for this yeah. month. Yes. Extra ninety dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! And then are they also continuing fast forward? No, 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 no. 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 It's yeah, all people. Do you want to give okay. us some clarity on all that, Lori? Please. I just wanted to say, you guys, the pandemic is still happening, right? So people are still out of work. So if anybody's thinking of like, how do we come from a place of integrity? There's still a need, right? The need is still there, and our company loves everybody in the community so much that, the, the, that we, we see that there is still a need to serve. There is still a time to serve. So our company has extended because the world needs us right now.
So I hope that clarifies because yeah, we kind of go there like, oh, we just said it ended. But no, our company saw something different. That was the initial month that they gave us. But since they see and, you know, like clearly, are you kidding me? What company does this? They don't need to do this. So I am proud to shout that one out loud. And every single time that I'm on a health assessment, we've been doing them like nonstop. Every single time I say, I am so proud to represent our company. They saw a need out there in this community deliver health, healthy, safe, medical grade food to the doorstep so people don't need to need to leave the house. We know that what we have to offer people is what the biggest need that there is right now in this world. So what they have done to make this achievable for people to do, they have discounted this $90 to make it extremely achievable for each and every person to get this delivered to their doorstep. Like guys, it's in our posturing. And every single time I say it like that, they're like, whoa, that is so awesome. So it's not like, hey, it's on sale, guys. You know, we, we have to build it up so strong that they're just like, dang. I'm, and, and I say it like this. I am so proud to represent this company. I, I've loved it in the past, but I'm that much more proud right now. So anyway, that you guys, we got to stand tall on that one. Um, do you, I just want to say a couple things, but Kyla and Emily, did you guys want to, were you doing anything else? No. We're just wrapping. I, I had a quick question. Yeah, Maria. Sorry. And it goes back to Instagram. It says to connect to Facebook or connect to contact. Do I press connect? Or yes. Yes. Okay. That was it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, Kyla. Can yeah. I share something real quick? No. Please, please, please. Now, I always uh, wanted to say no. <laughs> one, uh, one of the things that I, but just in hearing all you guys talk is definitely find what works for you. Because here's the thing, the way I do Facebook and do Instagram is totally completely different from other people. I am goofball. I don't really bring a lot of value as far as like health posts and stuff. I'm pretty dumb, but people, um, but I'm funny right? Rocio, she brings a lot of energy, a lot of like just uh, from the heart stuff. And I don't really do that. I'm just, uh, I'm just a goober, right? So find what works for you. And one thing's not going to work for you maybe for your level or your spirit of influence. So like for me, it works for me. It might not work for you. Or what, what works for Rocio might not work for you. Find what works for you and roll with it. Because like I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm just stupid on Facebook. People just want to watch Orlando because they don't know what he's going to say. That's yeah. what I watch. Yeah. Right. But it works, but it's working. Right. So like, it's so, you know, one thing might not work, but find what works for you and don't be boring. That's all. <laughs> These are awesome. Well, I just want to um, personally thank you guys like Kyla and Emily, you guys have really been pouring out to us and I can't thank you enough because this is taking time away from your business. This is taking time away from your families. So just on behalf of the entire group, thank you for the investment of time and sharing your amazing knowledge. I'm so proud of you guys, like seriously, seeing you stepping up in leadership like this. It's just a ah, proud mama here. Um, and then, you know, just thank you to everybody. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Rocio. Thank you for sharing your insight. And um, I, I've learned so much from you. And I just want to say, as a team guys like we are we were just blown away by you guys yesterday like I mean all month all month all couple of months like it has just been crazy to see the hearts of each and every one of you pouring out the way you were and Jen I think you're the one that started that post yesterday I mean I, I honest to God like I mean who does this you guys who does this? Like one person, and I have all these new sweet baby coaches that are just like, I can't believe I'm a part of this team. You guys, this is so rare. This is so amazing. The outpour, like who, who takes time out of their day to just pour on love, 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 love to help support each and every other person. What we have here is so unique and so special. And I just want to say, I'm so proud of each and every one of you guys. I mean, we are truly a family 
And um, it's, it was just, we were speechless, like literally last night. It was amazing um, just seeing the, the outpour and the love and that just really like lit a fire under each and every one of us that late in the night. Like, I'm like, what is going on here? Facebook is blowing up. And it's just, Jen, thank you for starting that. Like, it's so fun. Can I just share? I did a health assessment at 11 o'clock last night. Yeah. Wow. Like I literally was like, I know it's late, but like, do you want, do you want me to call you? And she's like, yeah. And I get on the phone with her and she, and I am not a late owl. You guys, I go to bed at 8 PM. All right. I was up till midnight putting in orders. And this lady's like, I'm a night owl. I love to talk. And she, we talked for almost an hour. I'm like, I gotta go. Cause I gotta get your order in. <laughs> like I did a health assessment at 11 PM. I'm like, that is insane. Like who does that? You know? <laughs> crazy. So awesome. so awesome. I know we had a couple people reach out too that were like, what's going on? What is this program? So it's just awesome when we can help support each other. And uh, let's just do that. Not on the last day of the month. Uh, yeah. Next time. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's get some momentum. Yeah. Like, let's do that a little earlier in the month. And honestly, guys, like let's work this whole entire month the way we worked it yesterday. Cause there's so many victories out there for each and every one and each coach and each client and that let's just help everyone win. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for putting this together. I'd love to do more. Um, so we'll have to see what we can do. Maybe every Friday can be a training day and we could train on something different. I know and I've had a few people ask about how to utilize Zoom to do Facebook live interviews. So that might be something that we can do in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get okay. to Lori, just to clarify, the 90s still for the one new clients and one year out? They're going to clear. Uh, we just heard this on the power hour this morning. So I'm sure we don't Octavia, have clarification on the yeah. 365, but we're assuming. Yeah. Octavia will come up with an email here. I'm sure very oh, shortly. Okay. All right. Thank you. Brent just gave us like a little hidden, you know, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Octavia connect was like, I think it was smoking, like heat, yeah. heat fire smoking on their <laughs> end. So that's why it was so slow. And like, oops, it, how many people kept getting the screen? Oops. And yet the reason what is going on? Yep. Whoa, we got to shut down and read. Oh, sorry, Garrett. I was just going to share one more thing. You guys, I am like, I mean, this is the first I heard of this news. I was almost, you know, a lot of you were like the kind of sadness or the letdown of like, oh, that $90 is gone. Like, like I am so invigorated because I felt like last night when I went to bed at midnight, I don't know if anyone else felt this way. Maybe it's just me. I was like, I could have done so much better. I could have done so much more. Why didn't I pick up the phone more? Why mm -hmm. did I only text or email? Like, why didn't I go through my whole darn packet of list of in? Like, why didn't I call? Why didn't I? Why didn't I get more personal into people's lives? Why? Why didn't I call? Was my biggest thing. Why didn't I get on the phone and call people? Like, I feel like right now I've got a do over. Like, I feel like a second chance right now. And I'm like, okay, I am not going to let this, I am going to get on the phone and I'm going to start making massive connections with all these people and a lot of other people, because we have this second chance, this second opportunity to bring this to like everyone we know. So I, I don't know. I just, I am yeah. that in my heart. I feel like I need to share that because I, I was like kind of hard on myself last night. Like, why didn't I do more? Why didn't I pick up phone more? Why didn't I'm I the same, Jen. I had a hard time shutting my brain down. Like I thought oh, yeah, of all these people to that I wanted to. And, and so that's the kind of piggyback on what Janet said while ago, until we find out the details from Octavia, exactly what this is going to look like. I don't think I'm going to posture it on Facebook or social media just yet, but I am going to do that. I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to reach out to the people who couldn't do it right now and were truly upset and just let them know, hey, I think this is gonna extend through the rest of the month. I'll be here, please please think of me when you, when you get ready. But I think I'm gonna wait on posturing it on Facebook until I get all the details from Optavia. Can, can I just add to that really quick? Cause I, like I had a burden for this one girl last night as I was putting away all my old health assessments and I just called and I, it was like 1030 and like anybody that knows me knows I go to bed at nine or whatever. And so I just called her and I said, Becca, um, this is just going to sound really crazy, but I figured I'd just give you a call. And she was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And then, you know, I was telling her about the grant and she said, 
well, wait a minute. How much is it normally? I said, she goes, okay, let me talk to my husband. I'll call, call you like tomorrow. And I said, oh, but it's over tonight. And she goes, but how much is it normally? And I told her and she's like, well, gosh, we spend 250 a week on food. Like she was like, and she thanked me. She said, I just want to thank you because you never stop reaching out. You, oh, I, I feel cared about. And I'm like, you know, we get it in our head that we're bothering people. We're not bothering people. We're not. I mean, I really felt like I needed to try and call her one more time. So, you know, all that to say, just do it. Like it, you know, what have you got to lose? The most they can say is no, right? So I have an a appointment with her at seven o'clock on Monday. Okay. Yay, Tracy. This is awesome. Hey, just real quick. Um, I was so jacked up last night. I didn't go to bed. I mean, I just could not sleep last night. So I'm about ready to go like a timber. Um, but I had a, a coach that um, two years ago he coached and nothing really happened. So he got back on program. He became a coach yesterday and he was a senior coach at midnight. <laughs> and he's got two more today. Um, so I just, I'm like, I was just, Totally excited. And another new coach got her first client, her niece last night. And this was all happening late at night. And all of that to say, I don't even know what day it is. I keep saying, yeah, we're going to find out in the meeting tonight. I'm thinking it's Monday and we're going to be on a call with Dr. A and he's going to explain this thing. And Tracy's like, what call tonight? I'm like, I don't know. I just made it up. So <laughs> what is happening? Is there, is there a call tonight? Did I hear that from Brad or did I... Did I sleep through that? Am I sleepwalking? No, we're all saying that. I know, but I don't know where it came from. And if it was from me, sorry. <laughs> I love it. And you know, I'm used to making stuff up, so <laughs> help. <laughs> I love it, guys. Let's go make it a great day. Let's just plan on Friday mornings as just team time training. How about that? Let's put that as a rock in your schedule and we'll think about whatever topic we're doing. All of your dedication and coaching. We greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks, Emily, Michaela. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.